How y'all doing? Tonight we're going to cook a uh, shrimp Velveeta fettuccine. It's a really good little dish, pretty simple to do. We're going to start out with, we've um, got a pan here, I'm going to heat it on up, a big skillet. I've got about, a, it's a half stick of butter right there plus one other tablespoon, so that's about four tablespoons I guess, or five tablespoons of butter. And we'll go ahead and get that melting in the pan first. So now I've got about a cup and a half of trini, which is just chopped bell pepper, onions, and uh, celery. I just bought the frozen kind. You can do it if you want to yourself. Just use uh, about a stalk of celery, one bell pepper, and about two onions. You want a little more onion, a little less uh, bell pepper, and a little bit less celery. So this is about a cup, cup and a half here. I want you to go ahead and add that to this butter. We'll let it cook. And simmer down here for just you know five or ten minutes, however long it takes to get nice and cooked. Okay, now my uh, trinity is starting to uh, soften up. I'm tender, you tender. Now I've still got it in there, sauteing that butter. I'm gonna go ahead and add five tablespoons of flour, and what this is gonna do is gonna bond together and make like a roux. Go ahead and add this flour. I'm just gonna stir it, stir it, which will cook this flour in this butter with these vegetables. And it's starting to clump up here, and that's fine. Just want to make sure you keep it off the bottom of the pan. I'm going to stir it right here for a minute or two and just cook this flour some before I add anything else to it. We just got to keep on stirring. Okay, I've had it cooking a couple minutes here. I'm going to go ahead and I've got a, about a tablespoon of minced garlic. I'm going to add that. Now I'm going to stir this around good, but I don't want this garlic to burn. So I'm only going to stir this around for about a minute. So it's just see. It's a good smell. It's really, really nice. You should stir this around. Get all really nice and work in there. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to add two tablespoons of garlic and about a teaspoon and a half of slap your mama. So we can give it some nice flavor. Stir that around there. Oh, you can really still have spice coming hit you in the face here. Yeah. Good stuff. Okay, now to that, I've got some seafood stock. Now, a little bit of that, i got about a cup, and we'll just see. Add about half a cup of this. We'll see where it goes. Because we're going to put these shrimp in there, and these shrimp will let off a lot of water, a lot of juice. So we don't want too much stock. I'm going to smell the stock, smell good. Mixing in there with everything. Okay. We'll go ahead and add the rest of the half a cup. So a total cup of stock in here. Okay. Just stir this around a little bit. We're on about medium heat. Then we'll add my shrimp. I've got about a pound and a half to two pounds of nice little gulf shrimp. Aren't too big though. So add those in and we'll turn it down to the low. We're just going to let this simmer. It's going to cook that flavor all in there. It's going to release those juice for those shrimp. Put more flavor in there. It's going to be really, really good. I'm going to let this simmer on low probably for about 20 minutes. In the meantime, we'll start on our noodles. Okay, for my noodles over here, I've got a pot of boiling water. i got a pound of fettuccine here. Open this up. And just to the instructions, it said put the whole pound in a pot of boiling water, about a gallon of water. Let that boil for 9 to 11 minutes. Then we're going to drain it. So I'm going to set the timer, let that hang out, let that boil, and I'll be real good. Meanwhile, while those noodles are cooking, I'm keeping kind of this, this uh, shrimp and everything just stirred around just so nothing will stick to the bottom, burn or anything. But I can see them just start to turn pink. That's good. We're just going to let these shrimp hang out and deliver some of that juice in this mix here. Okay, according to package directions, my noodles are done, so I'm going to go ahead and strain these off in the colander. Just leave them sitting aside while they, uh, the shrimp still cook. Okay, now we have our fettuccine sitting aside over here. I've got three quarters of a cup of half and half I'm going to add to our shrimp mixture. Still on low heat. 
add that in. Stir it in here. Mix it well. It should thin out quite a good bit. Now what I want to do, I've got one pound of Velveeta cheese, and this is the Velveeta Mexican variety. It's got some, uh, you know, peppers and stuff like that in there. I'm going to go ahead and add this pound, cut up in chunks, a little bit by a little bit to this, and we're going to melt this down in here. We're just going to start in over low heat with all these little chunks in there until we get it all melted down. Okay, I've got all the cheese broken up and in there. Like I said, I've got a little medium low heat. Go ahead and start in with all this melt. And I use that, uh, like I said, the Mexican Velveeta. If you want to, you can just use plain and probably put your little rotel in there. It'd be a great idea. That's probably what I should have done. <laughs> but uh, they only had the Mexican Velveeta with the one pound packages, so they didn't have any of the plain. So. All right, I'm going to just let this melt in here. Okay, now I've got all the cheese and everything melted here in this sauce with the shrimp. Everything we're going to take uh, our fettuccine and we'll pour it back in a pot, empty pot there. We're get some of these stragglers out here. Mix that up a little bit. And I'm going to take my sauce and I'll pour it in here with the fettuccine. Okay. I've got my oven, by the way, preheated to 350. So this next, we're going to put it in a baking dish. We'll get in the oven. Let's go ahead and get this all good mixed up here. Dog, shrimp, pasta, everything. Oh man, that smells really good. It looks really good too. Then I'm going to grab uh, my baking dish that will. Okay, now I've got an old baking dish. Go in here. Set this right here. And pour my pasta into there. Wow. Well, that's good. All those nice fresh shrimp and everything. Spread that out a little bit, get everything even. It'll be good with a little bit of. Parmesan cheese or something on top of there. Maybe a little bit of this. Got some good Parmesan. This is not very good. This is just that old store bought junk, but if I, if I had some good Parmesan, I'm sure it'd be a lot better. But I'll sprinkle some of this on top. Also, I may get uh, some red pepper flake. A little bit of that. Throw a little red pepper flake. I need that. Come on, there we go. Just a little bit. That's good. Now we'll pop this in the oven for about 20 minutes at 350. Okay, we've had the pasta in the oven for about 20 minutes. Go ahead and take it out. Wow, it looks really good. Nice little brown crust there. And there it is. Really, really good looking. I'm going to go ahead and get something to scoop into it. Okay, just plated some of this up here. It looks really, really good. You can go ahead and give it a taste. Got this uh, shrimp, got the fettuccine, this cream sauce. That is phenomenal. Great, great taste to it. Really got a fire fresh I really recommend this one. Really good.